What did you get? Yeah. Oh my gosh, what did you get? <laughs> Don't you think they should change the name? It should be called the IN3. Yeah. Because there's three of everything and it's in the bagel. Yeah. Makes sense, right? Totally. Ella, what? what day is it? It's um, it's Monday and it's Christmas and it's Christmas morning. Guys, it's Christmas morning. The vlog is back. Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas. Christmas. We figured what better day to restart the vlog than on the best day of the year, Christmas Day. So, Ella, do you think Santa came? Yeah. What do you think Santa brought for you? LOL. LOL dolls. Well, I guess we're about to go find out. Guys, I've been away for a while. Hopefully today is the start of a very long run of successfully filming and creating vlogs. But uh, if nothing else, here's to a very Merry Christmas to each and every one of you. By the time you see this, I hope you guys had the best day. You're going to get to take part in our day as a family, which is very exciting because it's my first Christmas with my amazing family, and I couldn't be any happier. So, I love you. Merry Christmas. Yeah. I love you. Merry Christmas. And, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy our day. We'll see you soon. Jackson. Mm. Merry Christmas. <laughs> hey, do you think Santa came? Mm -hmm. No. Because he thinks Santa's not real. He thinks Santa's not real. Sophie... Sophie's trying to tell him. Good morning, sir. I found you. Merry Christmas. He's clearly a morning person. The life of an eleven-year-old. Oh. Wake up. You see my new buddy. Wake up, darling. Guys, you would think it's seriously like 5 in the morning. It's 7.30. It's not that bad. Let's go, sir. Yeah, Jax, go put your new sweatshirt on. Alright, guys. Here we go. We're going downstairs. Oh, they're being lined up. Not to come downstairs until I say you can. Alright, we're going down first. You're staying there. Colin, get out We get the first few guys. Colin? Ready for the first one? Alright, get up. Colin, get what in the hallway now. What do we have over He's here? Doing this. I see gifts for Jackson, right, Colin, and doesn't Ella. Need to do it. He doesn't need to open any. Come on now. Oh, and yet. even for the dogs. Is he coming? I saw the. Oh, around my way. Yeah. What did you get? Yeah. Oh my gosh, what did you get? <laughs> Santa came through for you, huh? Oh, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Are you so excited? Get a big one. I got a Christmas series. What is that? A series too. We'll open them. We let's do that later on. What is that one? That's a big one. Yeah, but there's like you need help with that one. No, you don't. Yes, you do. You're not opening all that right now. Yeah, Ella. no, Ella, we're not opening right now. And there's like bath bombs in there. Wow, Ella. Tell the vlog what you wanted for Christmas. LOL. And LOL. you got them? Wow. Hello, look at me. Come on, hold up your LOL. Your big one, too. What did you get, sir? Whoa, what is this? Ella, hold up your LOL. I'm trying to think. Jax, there was something on your bike. 
But Sophie knocked it on the ground. Your big one, your big ball. Oh, careful, dude. It's. Look. Careful, careful. What? It's on the ground right there. Don't have stamps. Okay. Houston Rockets? Jackson, look at me. Jackson, look at me. Merry Christmas, Jackson. What'd you get? Uh oh, does that mean more dancing in front of the TV? Oh, more of those dance moves, huh? What'd you get, dude? Oh, what'd you get? <laughs> no, nice. you weren't. You're a puppy. Well, is that the worst soccer player ever? No. I already know Should we have gotten Ronaldo? Ronaldo. Well, that's pretty cool, dude. Okay, guys, we're going to open up all of our gifts. We'll do a little recap at the end of what everybody got. Oh, and I'm going to enjoy this time with the family. Huh? Talk to you soon. Hey guys, I'm going to show you the aftermath of what was a very exciting morning. Say hi, Paige. Hi. Ella. Say hi to the vlog. Hi. Can you tell the vlog what you got for Christmas? Let's show them. I got Ella Waldo, and I only opened one Ella Waldo, and it's the Glitter Series. Here it is. Wow. Her name is what? MC Swag. Yeah. As you see, her clothes are really cute and sparkly. And wow. What else did Hatchimal Surprise, but the twins. Hatchimal Surprise twins. A little sister. And a little sister. Then the little sister goes are... <laughs> They're so... And what about, what is all this other stuff? I see so, an art kit. I see Hatchimals. So, I see a pillow. So I got an emoji pillow and I got a cute needle. Wiggly Worm, say hi Wiggly! Hi Wiggly Worm, that looks like a bigger worm than you. I think the worm is bigger than Ella. <laughs> looks like Jackson did pretty good. Nice new bike. Colin got a new bike. Where'd you do your at? it's messy. Guys, it was a really awesome morning. Uh, I hope you guys all had an amazing Christmas morning with your family. We'll check out what the rest of the day has. There's another thing in there. Amazing. If you didn't know how excited I was when I, when I saw those LOLs. When you saw the LOLs, you were really excited? Yeah, is that your favorite gift? I love peanut butter. Apparently, Colin likes peanut butter. I've loved peanut butter. For how long? I, I used to eat spoonfuls of peanut butter. And now, what are you eating peanut butter on? Pancakes. Yeah. Peanut butter on pancakes, guys. It's Christmas Day. You eat what you want. There are no macros on Christmas Day. Paige created the best breakfast for us all. She made eggs, hash browns, pancakes, bacon. You would think this is actually just a Christmas Day thing, but honestly, I have the best wife in the world, and she literally makes this for me every single day. So I like to do a little hash browns under my eggs with some cheese, bacon, I got my pancakes, and I do sugar-free syrup. Guys, I got the best wife. This is how it goes down on Christmas Day. Guys, what's up? It's 12.30. Uh, we got packed up, got cleaned up. I feel like my sickness is hitting me a little bit harder right now. It's kind of how it goes throughout the day. I feel like it gets worse and worse, but nice day to just relax, recover with the family. We're heading over to Paige's mother's house. We're gonna celebrate a little bit more, take them some gifts, do a little Christmas dinner. Uh, they're cooking. We've got our own little Christmas dinner that we're cooking. 
think the kids are all entrenched in their gifts. They're ready to hang, and they were all up early, so I'm sure they'll get a little bit of rest in at some point today. Um, I think Jackson and I are going to watch some basketball. I think the Cavs are playing the Warriors today. The Wizards are playing the Celtics. Being home in D.C., I'm becoming a bigger and bigger Wizards fan. I actually just picked up uh, the remainder of this season for season tickets, so pretty excited about that. And really just enjoying the day with family. Um, I'm going to kind of share with you some deeper thoughts later on today. Uh, you know, by the time you guys see this, it's going to be well past Christmas, but I hope you guys can think back to Christmas Day and uh, really think about your reflections and what you thought about and your intentions for 2018. I hate the word resolutions, but, you know, your intentions, what you're absolutely going to achieve and really the impact that you're going to have. You know, I've talked a lot about shifting to the work legacy and uh, I really, really have just thought so much about it already today. And here we are, not even seven hours into the day, but so much and uh, excited to share it with you guys. So we're going to go hang a little bit more with the family, maybe grab another coffee and uh, see you guys there. Tell the vlog. Look, look, it's the vlog. Tell them what you do in the morning when I wake you up. I fart. <laughs> and not the fake fart. She really farts. Oh, yeah. Not the fake one. Outside. What is that, Elma? Exactly. Tell the vlog what you're doing. It's a fart ball. It's a fart ball. That was not one of her Christmas gifts, but apparently it should have been. <laughs> hey, it's worth all the entertainment. It really is. Guys, what's up? It's December 26th, 9.45 in the morning. I'm trying to already into our morning. We had a doctor's appointment for the baby, and I apologize for not um, filming the end of Christmas Day, but the truth is we left uh, Paige's parents' house, went home, and just relaxed and enjoyed the rest of the day as a family, which I really hope that each and every one of you guys did. Uh, we watched some basketball. I bet Jackson that the Wizards will be the Celtics, so I won $2 from our kid. Yes, you should always collect on your bets from your kids. They need to learn that shit at a young age. Um, but you know, one of the things I mentioned earlier yesterday was that I kind of was really like in deep thought on like this whole legacy piece and you know what I, what I want to leave in the world. And you know, as as I sat there, and I watched everyone like open their gifts. It's it's so cool to truly be able to give. I think it's we all know it's the best feeling at Christmas got me thinking about 2018 and kind of where I want to go with things and you know I look around and one of the overwhelming things I saw in 2017 is I saw people so paralyzed by this myopic thought of purely being a physical being and that everything in their life was predicated on what they looked like or how they performed or what the scale read there's so much more to life than that. You know, admittedly, as a former anorexic, I've gone through those struggles. I continue to go through them. You know, for for me, the end of 2017 sees me hardly doing any CrossFit. And that, that struggle for me to not go in the CrossFit gym, to not participate in the community that I love, for me to not be in that environment, for me to not push myself, it's so hard to pull back. But I also know that for my optimal health, for my optimal being, for me to be in a position where I'm in a great place when we welcome baby Phillips into the world in a couple short months, you know, I can't be doing that. And yes, that makes it very difficult um, for myself physically, but I'm more than a physical being. And I've really had to soul search and dig deep and, and define who I am more than a physical being. But what it's left me with is so beautiful. And it really all came together yesterday on Christmas where I realized that the definition of myself is somebody that can impact this world. And I've talked so much about impact and I'm gonna talk even more about impact. But as we go into 2018, I am on a mission to truly, truly help you just eradicate all of these thoughts that lead you to believe that you're purely physical beings. I want you to understand who you are, the power you have, the impact you potentially can have, and I want to start celebrating that shit, and I want to start living in that, and I really want you to find that and live with that as your goal. Like, it's just so powerful, guys. So, 
you know, I don't know where Teddy's putting this in this vlog, but I really hope that you guys can start to think outside the box, start to see that your physical self adds value to the much bigger picture, and that the much bigger picture is really what's important in this life. Guys, let's find balance. Let's create self-worth. Let's create self-confidence. My vision for 2018 is that I'm building a, you know, a core of nutritional philosophy that is unlocking gates that have previously been locked in your life to not just take you to higher levels physically, but higher levels emotionally, you know, spiritually, whatever it might be, guys, I want to take you there. And so, you know, I'm all in, 100% all in on taking you to your best self ever. I know my team is all in. It's going to be just epic. So the vlog is back. We're heading right now to go get some breakfast. Um, we're going to our favorite bagel shop in the town that we live in called Ashburn. I'll show you guys what we do. I'll try to vlog all my food today if my battery life holds up. And uh, we'll see you guys there. But guys, 2018, it's on. Let's start defining ourselves in a much better light. See you guys there. Where are we? At a bagel shop. What are we getting? Um, a bagel? What are you getting on your bagel? I'm getting a bagel with just cream cheese on it. Just cream cheese? Bulls, mm -hmm. fantastic Sam's. Can you tell us what it used to say, Paige? It's Karate Bagels Dance. Anybody that grew up here definitely knows, knows the significance karate of Karate Bagels Dance. So this is pretty much the bagel shop we went to every day during high school. Always open up the door for your lady. Always. I'll never let that slip. We're still filming. Not sure what we're filming, but we're filming because this is real life. Ella, what do you want to say to the vlog? Um, what I want to say to the vlog is... That you're really hungry and you're excited to eat? I'm really hungry right now and it's a good thing that we got bagels. And what else? Who else do we get bagels for? We got bagels for my brothers, Colin and Jackson. And why aren't they with us? Because they're still sleeping. Because they're lazy. Yeah, they're lazy. They're lazy. Is that good, Ella? They're recording. Mm -hmm. It is good. Did you get more in your mouth or on your face? On my face. I think so. Is it yummy? So, on mine, you had everything bagel, triple bacon, triple egg, triple cheese. We we'll call it the Tyler. Yum. I really think they should call it the IN3. I'm going to petition them to change the name. <laughs> Don't you think they should change the name? Or it should be called the IN3. Yeah. Because there's three of everything and it's in the bagel. Yeah. It makes sense, right? Totally. With an everything bagel. With an everything bagel. What'd you get, baby? I got um, <clears throat> turkey, egg, and cheese on a croissant. Mm. It's yummy. And, it, and it's the... The red skin. It's, the it's red called skin. the red skin. Yep. Yummy. Yummy. So we're gonna have our breakfast. We're gonna go Get run a couple store. quick errands. We're gonna go to the store. And then we're gonna come home. Ella's gonna do her art. I'm gonna go work out. Then, when I'm done working out, we're gonna do your diamond dig it. Exciting days in the Phillips household. Charles. Charles. Say hi to the vlog. Is it a lazy Tuesday, Bubba? He's clearly not interested. <laughs> Sophie, say hi. Say hi, Sophie. I don't think she's very interested either. Guys, it's kind of been one of those days. A lot of people ask me why I stopped the vlog. Obviously, you guys know what happened during shredding season. I had to take a step back. I had to focus on self-care. And really, that's the focus for, for 2018 is going to be a lot on self-care. And you're going to see in the coming days that I go into that. Obviously, I've been very sick. Um, if you know me, I don't nap at all. Um, Paige, what happened when I laid down to nap earlier? You slept for about a half hour. 
I actually slept for a half hour. I just finished an inner circle interview with the man, the myth, the legend himself, Pedros Koulian, my business coach. Um, so for everybody that's in the inner circle, they're gonna get access to that, guys. It was fire, uh, even for being sick. I think some really good content came out of that. It's gonna move a lot of people forward. I love, love, love that website, by the way. Like, we just put together a resource for coaches. And so for those of you that don't know about the inner circle, in my opinion, it's singly, it's the single resource out there that is complete enough to take you from step one to really to as big of a business as you want. Like, you know, information on how to scale, how to set up your business from the finance perspective, from the web perspective, from how to work with your clients. And then of course you have access to me and my team to double check your prescriptions, make sure that you're delivering the right information to clients. It's really cool. The way I look at it is, you know, I'm one person, my team is one team. We are not big enough to serve the needs of this world. And if this website creates the foundation of really awesome coaches, then the legacy that our generation is gonna live is going to be extremely pure. So, um, and it's really gonna create a better foundation for 20, 30 years from now, which I'm super excited about. Uh, so that's that, I'm getting ready. I'm gonna go try to train. Um, I was gonna squat, bench, and do some upper body pushing. I think squatting will only exacerbate the sickness right now, uh, but I'm going to go bench and I'm gonna do some pressing. So it'll be a quick, quick workout. Um, gotta hit the grocery store. Gotta get some groceries, right, babe? Yeah. House duties, guys. Gotta do it. And, uh, and then we're just gonna call it a really chill night. It's Tuesday night in our house. That means WWE SmackDown. Our girl, Charlotte Flair. Yeah, apparently, she's managing tonight. She's not wrestling. And uh, Becky Lynch is not quite back on, but I think she comes back on next week. Obviously, two of my clients and the kids have grown to really love watching them in the ring and on TV. Uh, they're coming here in three weeks, so we get to hang out with them and go backstage. So. Uh, that's what a typical day looks like guys. That's why I don't vlog a lot because I feel like my days are pretty boring Especially when I'm on vacation, but I'm enjoying being on vacation I get to spend time with my wife even though I'm sick. I wish I could spend more quality time with her I'm sure she wishes I could spend more quality time with her too um, but I promise I'm, I'm working on getting better and uh, That's that I don't know. I think the uh, the memory on my camera is dying so you won't get a lot of workout footage um, or any workout footage today, but I promise as I get back into lifting, you'll get more and more of it. So I will see you guys later on tonight. Alright guys, there it is. Just put it together. You, did you get okay. some chicken breast, you got some garlic powder, we use Rao's four cheese sauce, we got some Parmesan cheese, we got some shredded mozzarella. This is going in the oven at 375 for about 40 minutes. We're gonna pull it out at 40, put a little more mozzarella on, bake it for 10 to 15 more minutes, take it out, ready to rock and roll. That's it, you guys see the finished product in a little bit. He did a great job. Okay guys, there's like, seriously, two minutes left on this memory card, and we gotta be quick. Babe, how's dinner looking? Yeah. What are you working on? I'm working, I'm, I'm just working on walking. Who's at the table? Ellis at the table. Babe, what are you making? Rice. We're doing a little bit of rice, so guys, uh, we don't always do pasta. Um, I have to squat tomorrow, and I always feel super inflamed the day after pasta. There's definitely something to me in gluten. So even with gluten-free pasta, the whole family doesn't want to do that. So we just do white rice. Um, Paige is controlling her carbohydrate intake right now, so it just seems to work for the whole family. We've also got some garlic bread cooking, but here is the finished result on the chicken parm. Yes, it absolutely looks delicious. Oh, so look out. Good. Okay, look out. Um, that's the chicken parm. The boil in the bag rice. Guys, we keep it super simple. So, we're gonna enjoy our dinner. We're gonna watch some SmackDown tonight, as I said earlier. And we're gonna call it a night. So, guys, I know I'm just getting back into this vlogging thing. I gotta learn to make sure my memory cards are full, batteries are ready to rock and roll. But day by day, I promise you'll get better. I'm committed to making it happen. Like I said earlier, my life is not that entertaining, but so many people do want to see what's going on. It's my job to you to give you guys that insight. So we're gonna keep crushing it. Ella, what do you want to say to him? Um, you to say good night? Good night and I hope you have a great dinner. Good night and I hope you guys have a great dinner too. See and, you later. And Merry Christmas.